Hi, uh, hello there, I'm Thomas Malthus. You may know me as the famous English economist that wrote an essay about the principle of population. I'm not here to tell you about how the world is getting overpopulated and how we need to kill people off though. I'm here to tell you about the epidemiologic transition. Yes, that's right, it was all me, not that Abdel Amran in 1971. So anyway, let's go see if there happens to be a little boy who wants to learn about epidemiology, the science concerned with diseases. Well, now we're here at the park. Why, hello there, Timmy. How are you today? I'm good. Would you like to learn about the epidemiologic transition? No. 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 So, Timmy, are you ready to learn about the epidemiologic transition? Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! There are five stages. Let's begin with number one. Now here we are in Happy London. The first stage is infectious diseases, such as the Black Plague, which was a pandemic in the 1300s. The Black Plague originated in Kyrgyzstan and diffused all over Europe. But it only takes one person to spread it all over Europe and ruin it for everyone. As a result of the Black Plague, life expectancy dropped significantly and death rates increased. Now on to stage 2 of the epidemiologic transition. Stage 2 is of receding pandemics. Improved sanitation, nutrition, and medicine reduced contagious diffusion. Pollution was remedied for sanitary landfills were established. Now you can see these two young fellows about to drink water from this disgusting location. Watch as I save their lives! <laughs> After the Industrial and Medical Revolution, there was a decrease in deaths from infectious diseases and an increase in chronic disorders. Oh no! Stage 3 is the stage of degenerative and human-created diseases. There are two especially important chronic disorders, cardiovascular diseases and cancer. I'm sorry, miss, but that tumor on your head can only mean one thing. You have cancer. Stage 3 is quite shocking, but thankfully we move on to stage 4, which is delayed degenerative diseases. Through medical advancements, people have come up with treatments and ways to prolong the lives of the inflicted. As you can see here, I'm performing surgery to remove a tumor from the cancer patient. Go me! By doing this, she'll live a longer life, consuming the already overburdened resources we have on Earth. Overpopulation!
Stage 5 is the reemergence of infectious and parasitic diseases. It has arisen because of the evolution of diseases, poverty, and improved travel. International migration has helped the diseases spread to all regions of the earth. Diseases such as SARS, H1N1, and AIDS. Who knows when these mysterious diseases will strike? It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be right now.